Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Okay, and a very good morning to all of you Stay home, stay safe Okay, nah, berapa lama ya kita PKP? So, it's okay Just continue Dan subject kita Iaitu makro economic objective So, this is for ECO415 Okay, before this, we already learn about all the microeconomic parts. And as you know that, ECO 4 and 5 is include both. Okay, because you are economics. It means that you have micro and then you have to cover with the macroeconomy. So now, right, this is a time, so it's a for macroeconomy. Okay. First of all, you have to learn what is a macroeconomy objective. Okay. Objective means every country they have to set what is their own objective, what is their main objective. Okay, we have several of objectives that the country have to achieve. Okay, but um, they must follow, you know, uh, they, they have the ranking, which one is a first, which one is a main, that have to uh, make sure that they achieve the objective of the country okay all right so this is in, in the conventional perspective part as usual whatever okay you are going to learn yes we have two parts we have conventional parts and then you you make sure that you are covered in the Islamic parts so we have five uh, objective that we are going to achieve the first one is to achieve the full employment sorry there's a typo there there is a full employment what is a full employment we have to make sure that everybody got job okay because if the individual uh, is a jobless it means that there is no income for him or for her so when there's no income so what happened okay the crime will increase so we we, we cannot we, we have to make sure that this cannot be happen for that country that's why every country they have to achieve the full employment but this is impossible we just we we, we just uh you know they, they have to make sure that uh, the employment not increase more than four to five percent okay right so there is a rate that they have to be achieved because if you say that full, it's impossible. But you know, this is objective. So objective, all right. Uh, we try to achieve that objective. Whether they achieve or not, okay, they will postpone and postpone to other years, to next years, right? So the second one is to achieve the price stability. The third is economic growth for to achieve the equilibrium in the foreign sector five is equitable distributions of income okay as i said that full employment you have to know what is the definitions of full employment it's meant it's mean that resources are fully employed Okay, as we know that what is the resources, is the factors of production, we have land, we have labor, we have capital, we have entrepreneur. And we have to make sure that all these resources are fully employed. Okay, fully employed. Uh, because if they are fully employed, it means that they come out with it, something that more efficient. So, can produce greater levels of food and services when you are using all your resources and finally they will affect your country which is you have or you can you can get the higher standards of living. Full employment is the situation those who are willing and able to work can find a suitable job for themselves. Okay. So in every country, as I said that, with a high unemployment rate will be considered, okay, when the country, okay, when we see the rate, it's a high rate of unemployment. So it means that this country got problem. It's a very, very serious problem. 
This is because unemployment finally will lead to the social problem. For example, as I said that, okay, robbery, drug addictions, and others. Okay, it means that it will increase the crimes in that country. So in some countries, unemployment people, example like US country, they will be given a minimum allowance, right? So that it will cause the government to spend more of them. But but not all country give allowance. Example like US country, because we know that okay uh, it's a high income country. When there is a high income country, they got extra and they they give allowance for them. The second one is a price stability. This is very important. In other words, is you have to control your inflation. And I give you some example. Let's say Singapore. Okay, the the, the targeting of this Singapore country is they got the zero inflation. But this is very very impossible. Okay. So, if you see the definition or meaning, it's not many change in price. Price is not increase. Uh, there is no increasing in the price level constantly, alright, or continuously. Inflation is what? Inflation is the situation when the price is keep increasing. As a result, Okay, the, the value of money will reduce and the purchasing of power for the people also reduce continuously. You have to remember, this is very important words, is continuously. Increase in the general price of goods and services. Okay. When the purchasing of power parity or value of money reduce, what happened? It will increase cost of living. That can be measured by the CPI. CPI is a consumer price index. The third part is the economic growth. Okay. What is the economic growth and why every country they try to achieve the economic growth? High economic growth, positive economic growth, right? Economic growth is situation and the national income or national output increase. It means that your income of the country increase. It show the growth there in your income of the country. So what is a national output increase? Actually, when the income increase, it means the productions of goods and services also increase. Okay? So, uh, Sometimes we are using the words of gross national product. It's a GNP and GDP. GDP is a gross domestic product, national and domestic. So it's a percentage increase in the output. Q is output per year. And finally, the standards of living will increase. A lot of job opportunities will create. This is very important. If you see, this is a business cycle. Okay, business cycle in the economy. And it's a normal. If the economy was fluctuate okay you see so a is a peak b is a recession c is a true d is expansions and e is recovery okay it will take turn you know you have a peak and finally there is a recession and now you are going to recessions so four is to achieve the equilibrium in the foreign sectors Foreign sectors mean you are focused on your export and import, you know. So what is the meaning? You have to make sure that it's a balance, your know, balance of payment. What is a balance of payment? Balance of payment is a record, okay, which is inflow and outflow. It means export and import. So of course, export is the income for the country. So we have to make sure that our income is more than our expenditure, okay, all right. And it's involved the financial transaction uh, within the foreign countries. So BOP is an account. As I say, it's accounts that record all the activities, uh, export and import, or international transaction between a country with the rest of the world. So if you got the imbalance, uh, balance of payment, finally they will affect the external reserve. You know, and finally when your external reserve effect 
and they will affect our currency and it's not good for that country okay if the currency is too low so it makes surplus okay you can got uh, you know whatever types of budget whether it's a surplus deficit or balance and then the equitable distributions of income okay even though you are the high income country but you have to make sure that the gap between the income is not too large okay between poor and rich is not too large this is not good it should be balanced okay narrow the gap between higher and lower incomes of groups and to ensure that the standards of living is equal so this is a method that they are using okay when uh, we already cover about the conventional part so now we go to islamic perspective so we have four equitable distributions of income second universal educations that to achieve the optimal rates of economic growth and the last one is that to maximize the employment generations okay let's go Why is a social justice? Uh, what is a social justice in distributions of income and wealth? You know, conventional parts is different. When the Islamic parts, you are more on Islamic roots. So, what is a justice? Justice meaning that social justice is a political justice, economic justice, and justice in all aspect of life. You know, balance, wasatia. Okay. The achievement of justice is accordance to the principles of brotherhood in Islam. In Islam, all men and brothers and just uh, is a vice currency in this world. So other than that, actually, this is the important part, the absolute honors of these worlds only Allah. So that as a trustee, we need to manage them according to Islamic principles, you know, Islamic rules, and try to achieve al falah Okay, so meaning that success in this world and hereafter. Universal education. If you talk about the education, what country? Okay, what country? Give me the name of country that say that education is not important. Okay, if you see Japan country, it's a high income country, education is first. Singapore country, education is first. US country, education is first. So what happened to that country? Okay, they achieved the high income country. And they got the disciplines of society. Alright, so universal education is referred to the knowledge. And it's a compulsory in Islamic, it's a compulsory to all Muslim in Islam to acquire the knowledge. So that in Islam, every children should be given an opportunity to gain the education for free. But it's impossible to get for free, okay? I just want to say that education is very important, okay? Uh, but sometimes the government subsidize by give the scholarship to who you know you to who are very very below it and that is how the government subsidize the education free so that the achievement education of 100 percent depends on the capability of iq that children and not on the capability of the web. Alright, in the conventional, you are trying to achieve the economic growth. Alright, in the Islamic also to achieve the, but they, they use optimal rates of economic growth. In Islam, okay, even we want to achieve, you know, the economic growth, but we must consider other aspect in life okay meaning it's try hard to achieve the economic growth the spiritual moral aspect must be emphasized more 
For example, capital formation, the behavior of people with others. Four is to maximize the employment generation. Okay, this is what we see with the full employment. The economic growth that we want to achieve must contribute to the new job opportunities. And we have to make sure that all our people is not jobless. Okay, and it must be in the long run. So that lots of research need to be done to achieve this objective. 